Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 8th to the 14th of August, 2022. No particular subject will take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, North Node, you name it. Uh, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your seventh house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It does wonders for the growth of the channel. It's the easiest way to support the channel. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much. And the description box is all the information you need. The links to Vimeo and Patreon for the extended website link for private reads and Instagram link for photos of the spread. Cross watches you are more than welcome. So Libra, this week we have the full moon in Aquarius happening on the 11th or the 12th, depending on where you are in the world. And it's conjuncting Saturn retrograde, so um, very much um, old versus new. Uh, Saturn is the traditional ruler of Aquarius, however it's now the um, ruled by Uranus. So very much a rigid authoritarian Saturn squaring off, uh, con conjuncting a um, risk taker, you know, go against um, uh, the patriarchy type of uh, Uranus energy. So very much a conflict of old versus new. Um, it's also activating and accelerating the energy of the triple conjunction at the beginning of the month where Mars, um, Uranus as well as the North Node were all at 18 degrees of Taurus. And whatever decisions you've made on the first it's go time. It's like time to put these um, ideas, thoughts, whatever, into action. Uh, opportunities will come up to allow whatever these um, decisions are. Okay. So for Libra Risings, uh, do check out your rising sign this week if you want to know what um, the full moon is doing for you. Libra Risings, this is in your fifth house. Um, so your sun's in your 11th house. So the fifth house is all, all about creativity. So you could, be, um, you could be feeling very, very creative at the moment, or you may find something that brings you like immense sense of joy um however you know there's always a but uh, you may have to contend with some sort of conflict between um, your needs and the demand of others um so that could be a, an issue fifth house also deals with uh, children and pregnancies so it could well be a fertile month uh, so do watch out if you're not um wanting to be pregnant that could be just good times with children in general okay so let's see for the rest of you do two more. Okay, Libra, we have, ooh, the Ace of Wands. Passion, spark, creativity. Um, the Phoenix rising, I always see the Phoenix in this one. Um, so yeah, element of fire. So this could be Mars, um, really, I'm just feeling very much Mars energy. You couldn't have Mars going into your first house. Um, for some of you, it doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't have to be. But this is, it's almost like a boost, boost of energy. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. With some past advice and potential outcome. Okay. We have strength, we have the king of pentacles, we have the lovers, the queen of swords, the devil, the high priestess, the ace of swords. Okay. The world is with the wheel of fortune, so there's something that keeps coming back round and round. You might be having your ideas... Um, Especially if it's work related, you might be having ideas that are not being maybe actioned or there's the I almost feel like you're not getting your point across. Okay. Um but we've got strength at the bottom of the deck, which also indicates like um you know, being having the having the ability to overcome wherever this is. Um so you've definitely. I feel like you're going through a transformation here. You you you've gone through a bit of a possibly a dark night of the soul. Uh, in fact, the last five years could have been a bit of a dark night of the soul. Um, but you're rising up. You're rising from the ashes. 
Um, what we're aware of is the Five of Pentacles. So this is being feeling left out in the cold. There could be financial issues. It doesn't have to be. Um, it could just be a, a situation where, again, I kind of feel like if, if you've got these creative ideas with the Ace of Wands, it's like somebody's either not listening or you're not getting your point across well enough. Uh, in the recent past, I'm jumping ahead, is death. Death indicates changes. So there's been an ending to something. There's been... Um, a, a death and rebirth you know we have to burn to the ground before we can rise to the ashes with the uh with the phoenix rising here what you're not aware of is justice this is you guys so when you appear and you're reading in something that you're not aware of you will step into your power eventually um you just need to speak up i almost want i want you to clear your throat chakra you need to um I almost feel like you you might be one of these that's got amazing ideas, but then you never really speak up about it. Uh, and possibly when you do speak up about it, other people take your ideas as theirs. Um, it's time to you, to you, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing the emperor now, you know, so we need to step up and be counted. Your advice is the king of swords. And the king of swords in this deck is, is brilliant. I mean, in some decks, uh, the king of swords can be... Hit and miss. I, I love the King of Swords in this deck. Is and and don't get caught up in genders. We all have masculine, and feminine within us. But the King of Swords in this deck is somebody that's very articulate, very intelligent. But the beautiful thing about it is his crown chakra is open, so he's getting ideas from source. He trusts his intuition, uh, and he speaks clearly. Your outcome is the King of Wands, and. and I'm seeing the, this is you. I'm seeing this is you. you. You're both the King of Swords and the King of Wands here. In fact, strangely enough, we've got the King of Pentacles. So the only person missing to complete the Emperor is the King of Cups. And again, don't get caught up in genders. Um, the Emperor is just stamping your divine masculine uh, uh, authority and, and creating stability and foundations in your life. Um, when you do this, when you speak from the a cleared throat chakra where you're just speaking your absolute truth despite who gets it or not this is not caring what other people thinks this is not comparing yourself to others this is just you being authentically yourself when you do you become the king of wands so whatever ideas of fire and passion you have the ability to tame whatever flame this is so the king of wands is a visionary the king of wands is somebody that is um passionate is takes action speaks and knows what to do you're stepping into a real high level of power here um and i kind of feel like the only thing that's blocking you at the moment is yourself and it could be just not speaking up um so let's so the Ace of Swords is with, and that's you know, speaking the truth, is with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. There's there's something that's um, stopping you from speaking up. There's something, the Five of Cups could go back to maybe childhood, children must be seen and not heard, that type of rubbish. Um, and it has a knock-on effect. You know, you you lose that ability to, to find your voice. Uh, but when you do, my word, you step into your power. Um and nobody's going to stop you there, Libra. So let's see, what was I looking for? I was looking for the King of Cups, wasn't it? The only king, the only king missing from the uh, the Emperor. Empress is with the Ace of Cups, so there could well be pregnancies abound for some of you. So do, uh, like I say, congratulations if you want it. Careful if you're not. Um, so the King of Cups is with the Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay. I, I kind of feel like the... I'm seeing the Two of Wands here as being something to do with the second house. Second house is all about values. Um, and I'm hearing a song from... I'm hearing a line in a song from... Um, Savage Garden to hold me. Uh, so the King of Cups is here with the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, she's blinded here. And the line is something like, um, 
tell me isn't happy if happiness is worth more than a golden diamond ring and i kind of feel like your values are changing and it's the only thing that's possibly kept you from really speaking your truth um perhaps the fear of being not say for example you're in a you're in a corporate world and you have visions you have you want to speak your truth but you you there's so much fear in you not getting the promotion or not getting the job and it's all down to materials that's what's kind of holding you back um and the universe is asking you to maybe just assess what it is that you value maybe it doesn't have to be that was just an example but you know what i mean there's um there's a need to determine what what you value in life but with the uh, strength card here um for me flexibility is strength so you know relax um with the five of pentacles here this could be an element of um, such a fear that we kind of try and control things um and when you try and control everything you enjoy nothing and um, so trust trust the process uh, embrace the unknown um because it's leading whatever the path is it's leading you to step into your power okay but yeah amazing growth i like it good stuff so yeah Clear the throat chakra, speak your truth, Libra, because you have the potential to step into major emperor sort of standards here. What is the emperor? What does he have to say? Okay, the emperor is with the page of wands and the three of swords. We need to heal. We need to heal the heart. Uh, the page of wands. The, the pages are brilliant for ideas. The pages are brilliant for um, um, that spark of ingenuity. But they, they have no, they have no process as to how to light. They're gathering all this kindling, but they haven't got the process to light it. The king can do it with his thoughts. Um, so there could be some pain in regards to possibly um, Three of Swords and the Emperor could have been um, partake in pain to maybe um, uh, some form of masculine in the past, whether this is um, um, a boss, father figure, um, teacher, you name it, it can be anything. Somebody that's been in a position of power for you um, has made you feel possibly a little bit unworthy. So there's a need to... Feel these emotions, bring them to the surface and just release them, you know, because, you know, the world is your oyster here. Okay. So in your extended, we'll, we'll look at uh, what's, what this spark of ingenuity is. Uh, and we'll just do a nine card spread, past, present, and future. We'll look at the positives, negatives to watch out for as well as your next steps. So Libra, <clears throat> you could have in your chart I'll be dealing with. We have you guys, we have Libra, we have Scorpio, we have... Leo, we have Five of Pentacles is Mercury in Taurus. We have Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer Pisces, Capricorn again, Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio again. But we've got Wands, we've got Swords, we've got Pentacles. Where's the Cups, guys? The Five of Cups, the first emotional card, and it's sadness, okay? We need to be feeling with our hearts. So, yes, think with your head with the King of Swords, but because his crown chakra is open, it means that the head and the heart are in coherence. And when they are in coherence, you bring balance and you step into your power. I love it. Okay, let me know if it resonates. If you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, see you next week. Bye.